Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. We're uh, we're back in the Williams Racing Hub. Uh, last last weekend did not exactly go uh, according to plan, and we haven't really achieved the speed increases that we desperately desperately need. We're still one one kilometre uh, an hour slower than Aston Martin, which is a really big problem for us. So. Um, I've got quite a few bits and bobs um, in the development line, and I think that's the only way we can pull ourselves up the uh, rankings, is to just develop the car. It's so far off the pace. I don't think it's our drivers per se. I think they're pushing as hard as they could possibly push. It's the car itself that just isn't up to standard, and um, that is quite disappointing. But maybe, just maybe with the improvements to the facilities and the development that we're putting in now maybe we can pull ourselves up by the socks and get a couple of points before the end of the season my target right now believe it or not 10 points by the end of the season that's that's what i'd like to see still um we got some missing car parts and it seems like the game has crashed on me again i can't believe this this game is so unstable, it's crazy. Yep, it's crashed, nothing is working. Oh my god, and how much are they charging for this game? Oh my gosh. Finally, wow. No, look at it, what the hell is wrong with this thing? Getting huge amounts of lag. Right, seems like it's finally woken up. So I've got five of these particular uh, front wing elements. Uh, you remember in yesterday's, uh, yesterday's uh, episode that we uh, we wrote off a lot of the car. We wrote off a lot of the car, um, and we didn't have a front wing to replace it with. So I've quickly built as many of those as I could, um, put them in the warehouse. So now next time, if we have any more accidents, we should at least at least be able to say we can replace it. I do not know what's going on with this right now. Running like a bag of chips. Um, wondering whether to restart it. Let's press on and see what happens. Important, <coughs> excuse me, important email. Uh, race prep, okay. 66 laps, 118 lap record forecast is clear skies circuit length 4.67 kilometers okay 308 kilometers in distance review the targets this is definitely running badly what the hell let me just check here Oh, I see what it is. I see what it is. There's a game downloading in the background. Shouldn't be doing that. Let me just fix that. Sorry. Apologies for the delay. Um, to Steam. Settings. And just say downloads. Do not allow downloads during gameplay. should stop that and we should be good right um i think probably part of the problem in fact i think the main problem with my setup at the moment is that the hard drive i'm installing these games on is old and slow uh so i need to get that fixed but uh, for now we'll just have to put up with it i'm afraid let's push on to the race friend of mine is a big watch man he's got some fantastic watches i think he's got some rolexes as well but he's actually got he's got one watch that is built from u-boat metal how insane is that i love that watch if he ever leaves it here i might have to Formula forget to tell him <laughs> the, jokes, jokes. the first grand prix held here was won by nigel mansell after a nigel mansell. battle with Ayrton senna but who will follow Ayrton in his senna. footsteps this two of my favorite drivers 
Long straights and medium speed turns dominate here, but there's something else to watch out for at Barcelona. The air currents are strong and unpredictable, and they'll be giving aerodynamic components a real run for their money this weekend. We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs, and nothing is certain at this stage. There's nothing like a race weekend in Formula One. That's it. ever so true, ever so true. Right, let's continue. Um, what do I do? Do I go with the main guys? I think I'm going to go with the main guys. And we're going to stick them on some hard compounds. Um, hard compounds. Uh, the car parts are fitted. The car setup is currently untested. We may as well just go with it as is. We'll put enough fuel in there for 25 laps. And we'll just say... Uh, whoops. I'll say uh, keep the tyres as long as you can. I want to keep the tyres for the whole session if I can. Fuel usage, keep that to a minimum. So I like this system. It works for me. I'm going to keep using it. See what his car setup is as well. We're definitely going to have to make some tweaks and changes. Do we gamble on some stuff? I think maybe we should. Um, so I'd say tow in. Uh, I would say camber out. Anti roll distribution, something like no, that's too far. Maybe something like that. Let's see, the speeds are too high. Yeah, something like that. That actually looks like that could be quite good. I mean, if we if we get lucky, that could be a perfect setup immediately, and then away we go. But I mean, our car's still too slow to be competitive in any way, shape, or form. Um, okay, let's do the similar thing here. So that's going to be tow out. Massive camber in. Anti-roll distribution, I'm going to say bring it down there like that. I quite like that. Let's try that. You never know, we might get lucky. Alright, let's go to practice one. So after the last couple of weeks, we just want to get some points on the board. You hear me okay? That'll do me. Albon started crashing all the time, which is not good for us. But he needs to stop doing that. Um, Latifi, on the other hand, needs to up his pace. I don't understand why he's so much slower than Albon. Not like occasionally, but every week. Bit of a problem. It's, it's certainly sticking out like a sore thumb. At least he's, he has stopped crashing all the time. Which is something at least. Right, let's get these numbers coming in. See how we get on. Oh, we've had a spin. Angleton spins out. That's fine. Didn't affect us. You can see we're last, last, last. But then we expect to be last. What I want to do is try and get the track knowledge up to 100% if I can. I think that would be really good for us. Get rid of that info section. So again, Albon is, uh, you know, a good 300th of a second faster than the TV. Now only 200th of a second. Oh, no, still 300th of a second. Um, two to three hundred. Someone's a run wide. Can't stroll running wide. That's good for us as well. Right, so we're getting some good feedback here. We've gained ten percent. When you're oh, having to give dear. back on balance, Cars he's not happy with that setup. Okay. Stop it. Configure this. Let's see what the problem is. 
but this is bad. I think that could be the answer. Oops. Confirm. Oh, he goes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm having huge understeer, like really huge. Huge Copy. understeer. All right, so we need to take a look at his uh, front wing, possibly. Well, so, no, it says the front wing is perfect, so it's the rear wing that's uh, not doing the do. We've actually got something great there, great and good. So what can we adjust? These are both bad anyway. Okay, I'm liking the look of that, and I think we just need to tweak this ever so slightly. And you can see the bad, the bad, they've got a bit of a swap on them. The good is still in the same place, the bad is still in the same place, the great has moved ever so slightly. Maybe that'll go to optimum, maybe it'll drop down. It's difficult to keep track of this. Uh, to be honest, but I'll send him out and see what happens. Did somebody spin out there? Ooh, Leclerc. Oh, and us as well. Brilliant. Let's have a look. Now we see the Williams here. They're way off the racing line there. That isn't good. Well off the racing line and well off the pace. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. This is some big changes. Is that a up on the track? Latifi's locking up as well. He's having a. Honestly, I think they're fighting the car. I want to blame the drivers, but I think it's the car. And whilst the car is not good enough, you know, what what on earth can I expect them to do in reality? I guess this session is all about climatizing to the track and trying to get something close to a drivable car. About all we can hope for. Again, the TV is getting its feedback in much quicker. Okay. We've gone from bad to good. What we need to do now is get it up to great, and um, we'll definitely finish last. <laughs> right, so I've just got to adjust the wings here. Need more wing. It's going to be tricky. I need something that yeah, brings them closer together, perhaps. So I think that wing needs to be up there, but I also think that wing needs to be up there, which makes it very tricky to. Uh, they always go away from each other, don't they? I need something that's going to pull them closer together. Something like that. That's great, of course. Oh no, that's, that's, that's taking it in the wrong direction. to go slightly beyond there. There 
we go. Now the straights is obviously too slow, so that's too much. Maybe something like that. They were great, weren't they? Alright, that's not a billion miles away from what we want, I think. Let's confirm that. We'll send him back out. Uh, I'd love to get 50% in here, that would be incredible. 40 is the most we've ever managed, but I think we're looking at about 30% today. The quicker you get a car that kind of works, the quicker you can uh, climatize, I guess. Six minutes left. Still bad. That's not what we're after. Alright, something feels off. Talk to me, man. Talk to me, Maverick. So that's great. That's good. That's good. These are bad. Right. So. That could work there. confidence was 13.5 and that's great so we don't really want to move that highest confidence was 5 and that was good so if I move that slightly that way it does pull everything into alignment within those parameters let's just send him out with that on and see what happens we won't know until the end of P2. Damage the underfloor. Oh, goody. That's just what we're after. Good news is that we've got some parts, so I think we could probably fix that. UF1 and not UF2. Ah, because it's in development, that's why. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, just pull it in and replace it, right? Minor damage. No damage on anything else. There should be some sort of indication on this line here. But there's some minor damage. Uh, the, yeah. That's fine. Let's try and get it fixed. I don't know if we can get it fixed in the time allowed. Anyway, good job. Thank you very much. Yeah. Rock bottom. Well off the pace. Not the start we were looking for. So it's going to be cloudy uh, tomorrow, but today we can just carry on as we are. Get a set of mediums on there. And if I've lapsed, try and keep the tyres as long as we can. But I think we've tweaked that. I think we're okay to stick with that medium tyres, 25 laps, save the tyres, I'll set up, I think that's, yeah, it's all in, within parameters, isn't it? So, <clears throat> let's go, let's see what happens. Radio check. 
On our bond. On the slowest. To give feedback, that is not the slowest driver. All right, let's start churning in some feedback, gentlemen. to our usual place of last. <laughs> and car balance feedback when capacity. Nice. So, good for me. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, good job, guys. Copy. All right, so we can, we can leave him on that for a moment. He's happy driving around on grates. Get his uh, climatization up as high as possible, and then we'll swap the tyres over. Okay. Good. It's okay. Okay. Right. So we've moved closer towards something worthwhile. I mean, this is all kind of. Oh, look at this! We've got two bang on where it needs to be. This is slightly off. This is bad, so what can we do about that? It's bringing it up. I don't understand how that can be bad when these are both nearly optimal. Thirteen point five. So that's optimal. But when you change something else, obviously it changes everything. The traction is bad, so we definitely need to come up. Traction is going out. Oh, it's one of those fiddly ones. One of the fiddly ones. Sometimes it's really easy, really straightforward. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So I'm going to put the rear angle there. Because that's too much. In this where I think that's going to be optimal 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 that's going to be good I think we've got it I think we've nailed it there the minor tweaky things at the bottom but no I think we're on it I think we're uh, on the money with that one that's going to be a great feedback but again it doesn't really matter because the car just hasn't got the straight line pace to be in any way competitive with anyone else 
we're kind of just beating our head against a wall at the moment until the development comes in. I've just got to invest super heavy in development. That's all there is to it. Still locking up. Even with a great setup, he's still locking up. Looks like there's been a so lockup. Annoying. And those these replays come way after the incident. I don't understand that either. They're quite annoying. All right, so they've got plenty of tire life left. Oh, Latifi has just gone above Alban. Albon, sorry. Well, that never happened before. <laughs> Look at this. Great, good, good, optimal. Could just maybe tweak that. No, because that throws that out completely. So I need to tweak that. That could work. Right, let's get you some fresh tyres on there. There's still loads of laps left, Matt. Yeah, we'll keep you on then. So at, um, at low pace, he can keep those tyres alive for a very long time. Three seconds off the pace for 60 laps. I mean, that's, that's more than 25 seconds, so needs to be about half a second slower oh, there's not, a spin. not three seconds slower Does that to make any sense at all there are two minutes left all right let's attack and push try and get this up as high as we can same with you See what we can do with those lap times. Yeah, so he's, I think he said happy with his setup. Albon it's definitely improved things. Look at that. Latifi, though, sort of lagging behind still. Guys, these tires are gone. Yeah, the tires are gone, but so is the uh, session, so don't worry. Guys, these oscillations are killing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, so we got 17th and 20th. Latifi still lagging behind. Bit of a performance Welcome bonus. Welcome back as we continue our race weekend with practice soon to finish and then qualifying hot on its heels. While many eyes may be drifting ahead to the big race, the teams and their drivers will be fully focused on the task at hand here today. Those who make the most of the free practice sessions will head into qualifying knowing that they've given it their all and done everything in their power to cement themselves a good strong position on the asphalt tomorrow. Strap yourselves in. This is Formula One. I know this track really well, but only on a motorbike. So, um, are we going to get some weather today? Why can you not see the weather here? We're about to go into a, a practice session and they're not telling me what the weather is. How ridiculous is that? This is not enough information. Radio check. Right. Now I can check the weather. Radio check. 
35% chance of, so that they don't think it's going to rain. Don't really know. Oh, I sent Albon out too early there, didn't I? No, no, he's still he's still learning. That's fine. We'll get we'll get some more practice time in. Get track knowledge up to a hundred percent, and then we'll start trying some other stuff. When you have it, give me feedback on balance. Okay, so he thinks his setup is great. Keep them out there for the time being. Try and get this knowledge up as high as we can on the tyres we've got. We've just had a spin. Schumacher on turn five. Let's hope we don't have too many incidents today. So we're above uh, Vettel and uh, Stroll. Well, we were. Ah, <laughs> oh, Latifi, you and your mistakes, buddy. You're not even pushing hard. been a lock-up yeah we've already dealt with that thank you the Latifi is definitely letting me down at the moment the number of incidents he's causing when there are no pressures on him kind of crazy what we're we looking at here aerodynamics what's wrong with the aerodynamics the underfloor hang on hang on hang on hang on I called him in and I called him in and changed that. I swapped that out for a new one. What the hell? Underfloor. The place. Oh, he's damaged another one. So he's damaged two of these today. It says installed on car one, but it still says one left. Is that actually working or not? I can't believe how many of those he's damaged this weekend. So we got two greats and a good in the middle. So the cornering is the only thing. make a small tweak see what happens have a look at our bond setup what can we do for him we have two optimal two at great and one at good so the straights are still a little bit too fast but these are optimal so how could i possibly change those thinking maybe the camber how can i possibly change any of this if it's optimal i don't think we can get any better than that I think he's just going to have to go out and deal with it. But the changes on Latifi's car obviously are like we've had a quite spin. huge. But for the first time, we're um, actually up in the ranks ever so slightly. We've just had a car run wide. I think, like a spin. This, I think this was a bit of a bad idea. It's a long test for something that we've... We're not going to gain much from it, but we could have gained an extra 15% knowledge on the track, so... I need to sort of pay attention to that in the future, I guess. Come on, get out there, get out there, get out there. Another thing that bothers me is when the changes are complete, it pops up with changes complete, and then there's like a two second delay before you can send them out again. 
Take that. There's a two second delay before you can send them out again. What has he damaged? Um, and at 16 times, uh, that's a big delay. You're losing a lot of time there when it's at 16 times speed, so. Gonna mess with that. So what's damaged? Oh, go back. Must have just been the tires then. Gearbox is a little bit below perfect, but 82% isn't terrible. Put on some fresh tyres and send them out again. There's a hundred percent and a hundred percent. Can't ask more than that, can you? The Tifi just has to stay out there now. This is all we can do. We can do no more. That. Those changes I made to his car, complete waste of time. I should not have done that. Why are the tires are like ice? Feels like a bumping on ice. Puppy? Yeah, well you crash when you've got grip, so I mean it doesn't make any difference, does it? Right, so not the perfect uh, practice. About as good as could be expected, I suppose, with our current car. And here we are, qualifying. So, let's change the car setup to his uh, most recent happiest. It's stupid not to. I'm going to do two flying laps and two flying laps because we're just we're not good enough as a team to really do anything significant but we might get lucky with a, a second run do you know what I mean? like a minor mistake in the first lap could be mitigated in the second lap that's green now green now Right. Follow Latif Bean, see what he can do. I hope he doesn't come off the track. So the one time we made it through to qualifying two was when there was rain coming and we were one of the first teams to get out there and drive quickly. Uh, that's what that's what got us through to Q2. So I always, always promote going out as early as you can, um, especially if there's rain coming.
it looks reasonably smooth but there are definitely some sections there where it's a bit late on the uh, accelerator in my opinion there's a really tricky corner that one I struggle with that one a lot All right, well, I don't think it's anything groundbreaking, but uh, he didn't crash, so that's good. Why does he take his foot off before passing the line? I don't understand that at all. Is Latifi going to take his foot off before he passes the finish start-finish line as well? Why do they do that? So he's 0.4 seconds off of Alban. Not a great start. Uh. I don't think there's any reason to change anything. Alban's actually kind of up there a little bit. Look at that. I don't normally see that. Right, Latifi, go again. Alban, go again. I'm hoping with the double lap thing. Vettel has uh, got a mark against him. I'm not sure if that means he's crashed or whether he's been penalised for something. Right, look at that. Absolutely destroyed us again. Eighteenth and twentieth. Another disastrous uh, Grand Prix coming. In, ready for race day. Williams had a good performance in qualifying. Now they'll be eager to demonstrate that they can have an even better race. Has proved quite resourceful during qualifying. That puts them in a very good position to make the most of this race start. The weather is very overcast here and teams are staring at the sky watching for the first sign of rain. Strategies Ooh. might have to be quite flexible going into today's race. Well, that could be interesting. Is back in Barcelona and the teams have got their work cut out for them. So again, we don't have any we don't have any uh, rain information. How am I supposed to predict the the, the rain when there are there are no reports available to me? How am I supposed to predict that? That's so stupid. It could rain in three seconds' time. So annoyed. Right. This is something I haven't tried before. I'm going to reduce the amount of fuel that we're using. So the 66 laps period I'm going to bring this down by that's the maximum you can take it down by 62 laps all right we're going to do that we're going to take that down by 60 to 62 laps um And we're going to keep fuel usage to a minimum. And we're going to keep pace down to light. Yeah, I think we'll have to go light. Could be a risk to go standard. But I think light 
it'll give us a better idea of of how close to the end he's going to get, and then we can do something about it later on. All right, so let's look at a strategy. I want a one-stop strategy, uh, which isn't available here. So I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to say hard tyres up to lap 40. Actually, those mediums will reach all the way to the end, look. So let's do half and half. That's a really big, bold, crazy approach. If I can edit that, can I swap that to medium? The even medium, I think, is possibly possible. Bit of a gamble. Bit of a gamble. We got to try something because we're not <laughs> we're not winning races. We're not winning points. Nothing is going in our favour. That one-stop strategy might be enough. But I'm just thinking he's going to be driving so slow, we're going to lose the 25-second advantage we get. So let's put him on medium with low fuel usage. Conserve the fuel. I would like to see D here from the previous strategy, because then I don't have to make it again. Uh, but we're going to add a new strategy here. We're going to go with softs. Five laps? I don't think I can get 25 laps out of soft tyres. <laughs> I think that would be very uh, ambitious. We're going to go for that. 20 laps straight through to the end. Oh, no. Get rid of that. Alright, that's what we're going for. Uh, I may take some fuel out of the car. Just three, three laps. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Maybe that Drive. slightly lighter car Position will give us an advantage at the beginning. Like a cloudy day. Here we have Alexander Albon. With their starting position in the back ten, they'll have their work cut out for them. Next up for the team, it's Latifi. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. The teams are ready to go. One of the oldest races on the Formula One calendar. This is the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. All righty. That is not a terrible start, guys. We actually gained a few places there. Keep doing what you're doing. And there's an overtake from Williams. And another place taken. And another place lost. Okay, that's good. That's good. just gained by Williams. Well, that's a bit crazy because like Martin have just gained a race position. Latifi has like six laps less fuel than anybody else and he's still at the back. Martin with a great play there. They he's still struggling to keep up. Oh. 
we look at reducing the lift and cook. Yep. No, now he's lost. Oh, that was that was aggressive. It was so aggressive, and he still didn't get the place. Annoying. How far behind he is. His car is lighter than anyone else's. You know what, if he doesn't finish the race, I don't think that's a, necessarily a bad thing. Push hard, happy to push hard. Yep, copy. got to place some of the blame on Latifi here. You can't have the lightest car and still end up that far behind. Not when your teammate is taking places and moving forward. I've just spotted, why is Hamilton in 18? What the hell? Something weird going on there. Close this gap. Yes. Has he just gone off the track? The RS And that's the lockup. Ah, oh, Latifi, you. You do irritate me. Copy. Get back off. Yes, copy. All right. Well, that's the start. That's the start done. Try and get the fuel situation under control. We're gonna we're gonna be bang on the there you go. We're bang on the laps already. We might as well just go push and attack. I don't think it's a big problem. Sounds like someone's locked up. Good to know that. Latifi has actually caught someone and overtaken Stroll. We can take a look it. now. Now we see the Williams here. Oh, something must have happened to Stroll because we're, we're just two cars at the back. We can't even see the rest of the pack. Stroll is having a terrible time. I don't know what's going on there? Which moves them up a position? Not that I really care what's happening to Stroll, as long as it's bad. Clearly loving that. As long as it's bad. Is that a new race position for Haas? So, I've got to keep an eye on their. Uh, Tire usage. At the moment, it looks okay. Mercedes moved up a place. Went a little bit out, but. Uh... So yeah, Hamilton is moving up the pack looks now. Like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. A rate of knots. Is that a lockup? Ah, Latifi again, locking up. Losing a lot of laps here. Uh, how's Albon doing? Still, he's still got a few laps in those tyres. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. We want to leave court, please. Happy. Good 
he's a he's a bit off track. Just on the light driving from you. He's bang on, so we can go full attack on those. We'll basically run those down to 30 and then we'll swap them. Have you got him? Has he got him? Got him? Got him? Oh, go on, outbreak him. Do it, do it, do it. Very nice. Uh, hold on to it. Very nice indeed. Great overtake. Good job, mate. Good job. And a new position just gained by Williams. I think I can get one more lap out of him. Full deploy. I'm going to try and get ahead of uh, as many of these guys in the pits as we can. So when we pit and come out, maybe we'll gain a position. Yeah. Deploy. Yep. Copy. We've left, we've left Vettel miles behind now. Low fuel, so be mindful of that. Copy. So Schumacher has pitted. And what are we going on to? Hards. Okay, box, box. Okay, box, box. Right, so he's pretty much done. He's good. He's okay where he is. He's got his laps under control. His laps are a little bit off. Really does look cool. Right, where are we coming out? No, we didn't gain any positions at all. And we nearly lost the position we had. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Disappointing. Disappointing. And there's an overtake from Williams. Nice, Albon has overtaken. Here's the replay. Schumacher. Now watch this. Here's the moment involving Albon. But maybe this uh, fuel fuel decision has been a good one. And there they go. Moving up a position, just incredible manoeuvring. Just giving us a little bit of extra nip down the start finish. The team Great. are clearly delighted.
put him on standard and then catch up with the fuel situation. So the, look, now it's 1.7 laps plus. It changes so quickly, it's crazy. And this guy isn't even pushing and he's, he's losing fuel. I think the whole fuel thing is, is completely broken. window entered he's still got he's still got a lap let's, uh, let's sit with Latifi for a bit bring him down to 30 maybe and said that thing is he's going on to slicks he's not so good at um, protecting his tires I don't think I think we're just gonna have to push him a couple of laps deep into these tires just so we got some chance of doing something on the other end but I, I don't know if it's gonna work it's such a big challenge So that's back down to 2.1 laps, but I haven't done, I haven't changed anything. The, 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 uh, the fuel usage just seems to be completely out of whack. Oh, big lock up there! I'm so with the big lock up. Okay. McLaren, gain a position! Guiardo overtakes Albon, that's a shame. We could do with a bit more pace now if you've got it. Coffee. Yeah, so I think the TV's done well enough. Actually, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to those tyres another lap. It's a good time to pit. Pit this lap. Box box. Box box. Okay, well that's going to be us for the rest of the race, I think, pretty much. Albon's up into 14th, that's really good for us. A 12th place finish is the highest we've got. Keep it going standard. Seems to have been a lock -up. Standard. Great, Ocon with the lock-up. Brilliant, just, just when I'm giving him some praise, he locks up. He's got past Ricardo, which is very nice. Up into 13th. Well, not for long. It was only a momentary overtake. 
won't overtake. But I suspect, yeah, let's, let's watch take that. Take a closer look. Daniel I suspect Ricardo is going to have to uh, pit again, whereas we're not planning on pitting again. Gaining a position there. So a lot more they pace make it look so easy. So much more pace than us. Such high hopes today. What a shame. Yeah, tyres look good. Tyres do look good. Okay, that's good. That's good. And Albon has overtaken Ricardo again. Should have watched that. Right, so Albon is more competitive than he was before. Uh, Latifi is just... They've locked up and gone straight on. Behind. Alonso locks up again. Brilliant. Albon is still 12th right now. Nice. Right, so keeping a close eye on the fuel situation and the tyre situation. Tyres look okay to me. Fuel is starting to be a bit of a concern. But there seems to be no rhyme or reason to the whole fuel situation. Nine laps left. Looks like there's been a lockup. Try and keep those tyres fresh. Oh, I see. I think this line here is acceptable. That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. I think that's acceptable uh, tra um, tread on the tyres. So I have to try and get in at the end with that above where it is. We're going to have to take the pace off a bit. But Albon is 12th right now, which is awesome. Just very, very poor. Off the edge of the here. Right, conserve the tyres, conserve the fuel. Just make it to the end of the race, mate. Copy, copy. Guys, he's also awesome. leaving for killing me. What do you think we could do? Not really. Two laps to go, I suppose we'll just watch them in. Watch Albon, he's, he's more in the mix. Fortunately, he's lost 12th. Lifting coast by one level. Got it. 13th would be great for us. 15th is the cutoff point. How can Suki Kanoda be? Oh, okay, because he's right on his. He's right behind us now. 6.2 seconds behind. Woo! It's been quite a good race for us, I've got to say. Albon has actually sort of made a bit of a difference. Have we got enough fuel though? 1.6 laps shy, it says. Sure, you can start energy. Currently, three laps remaining of the race. 65th. Oh, that's because the, the leader has done 65 laps. We're on 63. Right, well, that's a different situation. We're in a bit of trouble here then. But nothing I do seems to uh, improve this situation. Gonna have to conserve the tyres. Can't afford to drop back. Okay, copy. Conserve all the way home. We may run out of fuel, and this could be a complete disaster. 
I'm just hoping the race finishes now and we come in. Three laps shy. And deploy it. Use it all up. Use the battery more than the fuel. I'll be ecstatic with a 13th, 19th, 13, 19 finish. That'll do me. This will be the last lap coming up. I think we're going to be okay because it is the last lap now. Was that a lock up on the track? That's all just locked up. With 38 seconds behind, we're never going to catch him. It's not a thing. What's going on here? First place is finished, been taken. Feel like we're, we're conserving fuel, but we're not actually conserving fuel at all. That's Leclerc. Charles Leclerc is today's winner. What the hell happened there? What's that all about? I've run out of fuel. Oh, I've run out of fuel. The RS is currently disabled. The RS is currently disabled. Unbelievable. Has the Tifi run out of fuel as well? P0, P0. Copy. How is that possible? You saw in the race, at some points we had like plus 2.6 miles of fuel. The whole fuel system is so broken in this, I swear to God. Really disappointing. And just to sort of clarify the situation, Latifi, who had six laps of fuel missing out of his car, he's still going. To be fair, he hasn't caught up with Albon yet. He might run out of fuel at exactly the same spot. Oh, there he is. What are they celebrating? A disappointing end to Alex Albon's weekend here. That's rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. To make things work this I think what we need is a great result for them. an indication of how much fuel is in the car. And I'm not entirely sure if it shows that or not. But this how many laps you've got left thing is is not good enough very disappointing we nearly had a 13th there so annoyed so annoyed Right, so we've got some chassis in, inbox. Yep. Difficult race. They're disappointed with the team's performance. Well, so am I. So am I. Truth be told. Very annoyed. Monaco. Oh, hey! We're off to Monaco. I love Monaco. Who doesn't love Monaco? Right, so straight into the next race. Um, I don't think any of our developments have finished. 21 days, 8 days for the underfloor. Um, yeah, so... A little way to wait yet. But uh, now that we know the fuel system can be manipulated and make it work, with Latifi at least, um, I think it's worth doing that again. That could have significant improvements to our overall race position, but I think the fuel system is broken, to be honest. So I'm not 100% confident, but we'll have to just keep trying these things and see what we can do. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now.